Hey, what's up guys? Let's make a quick 15 minute dinner. With my chickpea, butternut squash, kale, coconut cream curry. Takes longer to say than to make it. Let's get started. Let me know in the comment below what are your favorite curries. Since we're making a 15 minute dinner, we're gonna use everything in our pantry, including canned tomatoes, canned chickpeas, and frozen butternut squash. They're just as nutritious as the real thing, except they are the real thing. So we're gonna start with our essential, onions and garlic. Start with chopping up the onion. To nice fine cubes. Guys, my eyes are literally watery from the onions. <laughs> every time I cut, it's just insane. I cry every time. It's for you guys. All right. Next, garlic. Can't forget the garlic. So 2020 has been hard on you. So my last video, you know what to do. Smash that baby. Look at that. And if you smash this hard enough, you don't even have to mince it. Put that on the side. Beautiful. Chop up some kale. That's right, we're gonna make kale taste good. Doesn't taste good. It'll taste good when put in the curry though. All right, put your fingers along the stem. Just push forward. See how easy that comes out? And then we're just gonna... You don't want it too fine, but you don't want it to choke on it either. What are you waiting for? Let's get it cooking. Come on. We're gonna get that heat up to a medium. You could use oil if you like, but I want my extra coconutty, so I'll use coconut oil. Once the pan is smoky, we're gonna add in our onions. Saute that until it's translucent. The onions are sauteed and nice and translucent. We're gonna add in the garlic. And just saute that into there. If you like an extra kick, I'm gonna use Thai chili peppers. These are really spicy, so it's an option. If you want that extra kick, go for it. Just gonna mince them fine and saute it with their onions and garlic. Add in that crushed tomatoes. Slowly pour in. We're gonna lower our heat to medium low so that it doesn't splatter everywhere. Let me show you how easy it is to take off the skin of the ginger. All you gotta do, grab a spoon and peel. Have the ginger and then we're gonna grate it. Well, that tomato is mixing with that ginger, garlic, and onions when it gets seasoning. Spoon of cayenne pepper, dump that in there. Teaspoon of garam masala. Teaspoon of salt. Remember with salt, you always adjust to taste. Coconut milk. Turn the heat back up to a medium. Zest for that extra freshness in there. Add in some lemon. Of pepper to taste. Add in our garbanzo beans. We're also gonna throw in our butternut squash. To a boil, we're gonna put a cover and put it on low simmer. Let that butternut squash cook through. Time for 10 minutes. Put up our tomatoes them in half. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. The curry is done cooking. Let's add some kale. Once it's done wilting, it's ready to go. Pop of it, so just make sure you mix the kale in there. Let's try this out. Brown sugar to fix everything. And that'll just bring out the flavors of the coconut cream. Add in the tomatoes with that vibrant color. 
Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Let's try it out together. Mmm. I'm taking this, man. <laughs> this curry is not only creamy and buttery, but the citric acid brings out the balance of freshness. And oh my god. It's an easy creamy dinner. It doesn't even feel like it's healthy, but it absolutely is. Please subscribe, follow, and hit that notification button. Love y'all. I'll see you next time for some more easy dinners.